Hello everybody, this is Cesar and probably you have noticed that the past weekend there was no video and it was because I was really very very busy. We were in New York and on top of that, uh, you know, coming back from New York, more work, good busy, eh? always good busy, but well, I could not mm, basically upload the video, uh, but it's Friday, it's Friday evening and this weekend is going to be okay, so Cesar Blues Guitar is broadcasting again. And this is a coincidence, I promise, it is a coincidence. I am preparing a cover, it's a cover of uh, Knocking at Heaven's Door, for uh, the version of Guns N' Roses. Stay tuned because you are going to like it, it has a surprise. Anyway, and my three-way toggle switch from my Yamaha SG 1820, my favorite guitar handcrafted in Japan, was not working properly. The uh, neck pickup was working, mid position was working only with the neck pickup and treble was not working. So I had to order another one and it's a Switchcraft, so it is the best in the market, I understand. I mean, this is exactly the same. I mean, I'm replacing with exactly the same three-way toggle switch, right? But before I show you how I do it, allow me just to talk for one second about my last video. My last video has brought me some stupid comments uh, to my channel and also dislikes. Okay, fine. If this is the way you express yourself, I'm fine. The stupid comments, I will always block them, right? By definition, I don't have time for stupid people. In my two and a half, I think they are, years in YouTube, I have never criticized any player. There are very good players in YouTube and there are but normal players and there are really very bad players, but I have never and I will never criticize anybody because of his or her ability uh, when playing guitar. What I'm criticizing is faking, right? This is exactly what I'm criticizing. The guy was not playing the solo. He did recognize it after saying that, by the way, the switch was not working properly. And, I, and he's trying now. I mean, he's uploading videos with him playing to a backing track, I, as we say in Spain, ole, hmm? very well done, man, I mean, I'm sure you will go one day and play the solo, but you were not playing the solo, and you have to recognize it, and everybody who can see your new video trying to play the riff will understand that you were not playing the solo. I'm fine, I'm totally fine, if you want to keep on putting dislikes in that video, I'm totally fine too, right? Uh, this is a space where people can express themselves uh, with freedom unless they start putting stupidities in my channel. My channel does not have space for stupid people. And having said that, uh, let's go and replace the switch. Well, folks, I'm trying to give you a good perspective, right? So forgive me. Uh, and you know that the electronics are not exactly my speciality. Right? I do a lot of things with my hands, but not precisely electronics. Well, anyway, this is the original Switchcraft, right? Uh, sorry, Switchcraft. Yes, Switchcraft is the brand, the brand, right? Switchcraft. And this is the original uh, toggle switch. So the original toggle switch has these two soldered together. And this is what we are gonna do now. So what we are gonna do basically is we are gonna put them together. I'm gonna open the new one. Here's the new one, okay? And then these, these two pins here, right? These two in the original one are soldered together. So what we are gonna do is so we put it like this. I want to be in the movie for all of you. And we press them. Okay. And probably we are going to try with a bit of soldering. And this is the moment when you wish you would have four hands, probably, right? Let's try. So we put the solder in there. 
Uh, we take our soldering iron and then we go at it and to turn success. <laughs> okay, we got it together, right? Very good. Now I took a picture of how the cables were soldered in the original one. Because as I said to you, I do many, many, many really complicated things with my hand, but not electric, right? And here we go. So what we need to do is we need to solder the red one according to the picture, which is the hot. It has to come to this, where these two pins are to, together, right? To the front, let's call it. And this is what we are gonna do, right? We need to tip it a little bit, to thin it, sorry. Let's thin it a bit. You see, even with my left hand, ooh, good. Just thin the cable, I think, yeah, you can see it, yes. And we go, And let's just introduce the cable here, bend it a bit, and now with our soldering iron, sorry, I, I don't think you can see it very well, let me just move the camera a bit. Here we go. And with our soldering compound, we go there, right? See? Did we hit it? I think we are done. If we look to the picture, this is the one going in the middle, right? So, there. There we go, okay? And we are gonna put it very close to the, to the pin because if not, probably it's gonna make a short circuit with the other ones. And then we will simply cut the excess. This is what we are going to do. Again, this is the moment of the day where you wish you will have four hands or at least one of those small pins, right? The small uh, stands with different arms, small arms with this crocodile, alligator uh, uh, things to, to help you with this. But anyway, it is how it is and we want our guitar back. It was a screwdriver that basically fell. And now we said that left was for the black and right was for the white. So let's proceed and let's start with the white cable. Uh, I would like to do it this way. Just because we can. Let's thin it, let's thin the white cable a bit. Very good. A little bit of a sponge. Let's put the soldering iron. Yeah. Very good. And now that the cable is thinned, we set to the right, and this is what we are going to do uh, here. Perfect. We bend it slightly. Done. Yeah, let me just make sure. Sorry. Let me just make sure 
that this stays there. Yeah. And now let's go and give it a nice and clean soldering. I think we're good. Yes, we are. And now the black one to the right. Let's thin it first, okay? So, yes, as I said, it's two and a half years in YouTube. We are running toward the 6,000 subs, right? Well, 5,500. I got a special contest at 10,000, as you know. I know it's an ambitious goal, but we will get there, I'm totally convinced. And in my channel, there's only guitar playing, guitar repairs, covers, setups, and from time to time, just from time to time, a rant, like the other day. Here we go. So it's a good space for guitar and from time to time I also upload lessons. The reason why I don't upload more lessons is because I am really very busy. My day job is a fantastic job. I love it. I love it. But it's really very, very, very busy. And I wish I would have more time to play my guitars. But it is the life we've chosen and the life we like. Very good. I think we are ready to go and to try our Yamaha SG1820 and to see if she's back to life. Let's just get this into the original position, right? And I'm with you in a second. So never forget the security washer, right? And we go at it like this. Very good, so now we are gonna switch off our soldering iron, important so you don't get totally burned. Put it in a safe place. And we are going to secure the switch in its position, right? So bear with me for a second. Good. We are gonna now leave it for the moment like this because we wanna try if the guitar makes the right noises. So we're gonna put the cable and connect it to our Marshall to see if we have been skilled enough and the guitar actually works. So let's see if we have made it happen. Yep. Correct. Correct. Very good. She's back to life and now stay tuned for the cover. The next cover is going to be fantastic. You're going to love it. See you very soon in my next video. And up to that moment, as always, play your guitars, have fun, and be good. Bye.